Cyberpunk 2077 might go down as one of the most disappointing games of all time. Before Cyberpunk was released, it had been hyped up for years. People predicted it would become one of the best games of all time. We thought it would be the leader towards next-gen gaming, and go down in gaming history for its accomplishments. But as you probably heard by now, Cyberpunk has not been that. Instead of a magical experience, we got a glitchy nightmare of an unfinished game. Cyberpunk 2077 on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One is almost unplayable in its launch state. This game simply does not meet the standard one would expect from these consoles. Saying this game is almost unplayable is, if anything, an understatement. The frame rate in the game is incredibly difficult to look at, and the combat and driving are clunky and difficult to control. Anyone taking a half-assed glance at this game can tell it's clearly not finished. Nowhere close. Texture delays cause this game to look like a PS2 game, and the AI glitches out regularly, causing it to stop shooting at you. All these things are horrible, but if you can somehow stomach all of that and decide to roll with the punches, I'm sure the abundance of crashes forcing you to turn the console on and off will be the knockout blow you need. It's clear that on Xbox One and PS4, this game is an unfinished mist. So that begs the question, why was it released? Why did CD Projekt Red decide to send out this game? Don't try to give me an excuse like, oh, they must not have seen the problems. That's bullshit and we all know it. CD Projekt Red released a clearly unfinished game for full price and that's shady and grimy as hell. But, my good viewer, what if I told you it got worse? What if I told you that before releasing, that CD Projekt Red gave out codes to game reviewers such as IGN, but only for PC? Yes, CD Projekt Red clearly knew this game was not acceptable. Why else would they hide their older gen games from reviewers right before launch? They even told reviewers that they could only use CD Projekt Red's pre-recorded footage instead of their own playthroughs. The beautiful shiny footage on a supercomputer boosted the anticipation for countless of fans. After extreme backlash following the buggy PC version and the almost unplayable older gen version we discussed, CD Projekt Red would later release a statement. It starts with an apology for not showing off the game for the last gen consoles and states, We should have paid more attention to making it play better on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. This first segment is already a bunch of bullshit. Pay more attention? No, 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 no. You guys definitely knew that this game was a buggy mess. That's why you made sure the reviewers couldn't play and show off the gameplay in the last gen consoles. Next, it states that they will be trying to fix bugs and crashes in the next 7 days and releasing bigger patches in January and February 2021. Maybe instead of needing to patch the game, you should have just not released an unplayable mess in the first place, forcing fans who have already purchased the game and are able to play it to instead have to wait for possible fixes? There's no guarantee that these patches will fix the big problems in these games. The patch that has been released so far has made the PS4 version run a bit better, but now introduced some texture glitches that make faces on characters take multiple seconds to load. The last segment. Oh boy. Deep breaths, JBR. Deep breaths. This last segment would lead you to believe that CD Projekt Red is actively trying to help fans who are displeased with the game get refunds. They are so caring and want to help you get these refunds and help gamers get their money back. <sighs> yeah, by now I hope you didn't believe that part either. There have been reports that many people are having trouble getting refunds. I'll leave the link to these articles by Eurogamer and Mark Medina from IGN, but to summarize them, fans have been having difficulties or flat out been denied refunds. CD Projekt Red didn't create some grand plan to help fans receive refunds. Instead, you're forced to go through the refund policies of whatever retailer you bought the game from. Policies such as a no refund after 14 days, or the outrageous one on the PlayStation that once you started downloading the game, you are no longer eligible to receive a refund. It's clear that this refund shit was just damage control, let's really be honest. So there you have it, the sad truth. CD Projekt Red, who for the longest time won fans over for always being on the side of gamers, has just stooped to the same level as EA and Bethesda with the release of Cyberpunk 2077. This should be a lesson for everyone to no longer pre-order games. You shouldn't spend money unless you know for a certainty that the game is going to be high quality. Some other things that we should learn from this is to be a little bit more patient with games. I'm not saying it's the fans fault for Cyberpunk's release, but I'm sure the demand after so many delays put the dev team in a rough spot. Even though it didn't help their own case by delaying the game a week before launch, but still managing to get it out right before Christmas. I hope that if you haven't pre-ordered Cyberpunk that you will wait until the game is fixed. You know me, JBR, and I'll see you guys next time. My, what a sweet lit- Kiss my dead punk! My, what a sweet little face you have. Kiss my dead punk! 
My, what a sweet little face. Kiss my dead spot.